Court is calling 2023 CR 6472, State of Texas versus Lisa uh, Telsey. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state yard. Defense. Ed Garza for Ms. Telsey. Are you Ms. Telsey? Yes. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? We did, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Chelsea, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. I was going to ask. Oh, just one moment. Mr. McClain? Yes, Your Honor. Are you back on the record? You had a question for me? Yes. I was going to ask if, like, uh, where's the community service going to be at? Like, what the location? Oh, probation is going to give you all of that information. Okay. okay? All right. Thank you. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? We do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Telsey, I'm showing you what's entitled Court Admonishments and Defendants Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of assault of a peace officer or judge bodily injury? That is a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to $10,000 fine. Yes, Counselor, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe, um, just one moment, Mr. Davidson, Mr. Davidson, Bill Davidson, yes. yes. If you could put your client on the back row and speak to him there instead of behind the court reporter. Correct. All right, no problem. Do you believe your client has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? She does, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? She is, Your Honor. According to the plea, state recommends deferred adjudication. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes. State? Yes, Your Honor. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement, the state is recommending that your deferred adjudication be for a term of eight years. There'll be a TAP evaluation and 200 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offense as charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence to support the plea? Your Honor, I uh, offer state's exhibit one of the attachments. Any objection? objection? All right, state, you may continue to confer. Thank you, Jerry. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same. After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? We are, Your Honor, please court. All right. So all of this was over somebody owing somebody $50? Sort of, Your Honor, yes. And then you're getting involved? Correct, Your Honor. My, my client accepts responsibility for making a very bad judgment that day and yes. making a bad decision. Because here's the thing that people don't understand. One, do people think people should be hitting on females? No. But as a female, you can't hit somebody and then think they're not going to hit you back. And I read the police report. So he's attempting to, the officer is attempting to stop a fight. And then everybody else wants to get involved. You want to get involved because you're like his brother. You're saying that that's my brother who's in the fight, right? And then you're going to punch the officer. And then the officer is getting you under control. And according to this, you're still punching and kicking on him. And then somebody's like, no, don't do it. She's pregnant. Well, guess what? When people are pregnant, they should not be getting involved in altercations. You understand? Yes. Okay. So, how far along are you in your pregnancy? Um, eight eight months. Do you have any other children? Are you employed? So, how do you? How old are you? Twenty. How are you supporting yourself? Oh. Like, how do you make money to eat? I have a boyfriend that supports me. Are you living with him? He lives with me. I have my own apartment. Well, how are you paying for your apartment? It's already paid for for a year through housing. 
All right, so this is what I know about housing because I used to do CPS cases. If you're on housing, your boyfriend's not supposed to be living with you. And honestly, your boyfriend's not supporting you. You know who's supporting you? Everybody in here who has a job and pays taxes. I'm supporting you. Your attorney's supporting you. All the attorneys who are in here supporting you. Anybody in the gallery who has a job is supporting you. So your boyfriend is not supporting you. And what I'm gonna tell you right now, if your boyfriend is living with you and you're on housing, guess what? If the government finds out about it, which usually they do, you're gonna end up having charges because they don't they're gonna want their money back. And this is the way the government works. The government doesn't tell you they know your boyfriend is living with you. They don't tell you they know that you're getting food stamps and you shouldn't get them. You know what they do? They wait till it's a felony. And then once it's a felony, then they bring charges. You understand? That's wrong. How far did you go in school? I got out of high school. Come on. And what are you planning on doing with the rest of your life? Um, getting myself together. How? I like get a job. And what type of job are you looking for? Um, All right. See, so here's the thing. You've decided and you made the decision to have a child with this boyfriend who can't even support himself. How old is he? He's 22. All right, he's 22. He can't even support himself. Y'all are both living off the government. Are you receiving food stamps? Yeah, y'all are living off the government and you're about to bring a child into this world. And now the child is gonna have one of their parents. I don't know about his criminal history, but the child is gonna have one of their parents who's already on probation for a felony and a parent who fights officers in an alley who's pregnant and not even at this point thinking about them. Because if you were thinking about your unborn child, you wouldn't have been fighting with an officer in an alley. And you wouldn't have been in an alley. You understand? And if you are not careful, Child Protective Services is going to be involved in your life. If you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? Negative. And do you know if your boyfriend has any criminal history? Do you know or do you not know? I don't know. So why are you with him if you don't know if he has criminal history? Do you know how far he went to school? You're the boy playing something to you. She is on government housing. You shouldn't be living with her because the taxpayers don't want to pay for you to live with her. You need to get your own house. If she's carrying your child, would you say she is? You need to be financially able to support your child, which means you're not living off the government on her housing that's been paid up for a year that we the taxpayers are paid for. If people want to go out and have children, guess what? I'm not supposed to be the person supporting your child. Y'all supposed to support your child because I didn't agree to have a child with him. I didn't agree for you to have a child. Now, if you want the taxpayers to support your child, then what you need to do is, and I see mom holding him down, keep him calm. You know what? If people want to play stupid games, you're going to get stupid prizes. And it's going to result in this deputy removing you from this courtroom. So if you want the government and the taxpayers to pay for you to have a child, you know what you need to do? Before y'all decide to live together and have a child, you need to come to a panel of citizens and say, I would like for you to pay for my housing. I would like to, for you to pay for my child. Will you agree for me to have a child? Not doing that. Y'all are just doing whatever you want to do and somebody else is taking care of your child. And when your child is born, if that's your mom, guess what? That grandmother is going to end up taking care of the child more than you. You understand? That's yes or no. Yes. All right. This is what the court is going to do. Court is going to sentence you to eight years deferred adjudication. We'll do 200 hours of community service for Sean. If she gets a degree, if she gets into trade school, then those hours will be waived. Uh, I'm going to order parenting classes. If she completes parenting classes, then uh, those hours will be waived. It's going to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular UAs. I'm going to want field visits one time per month until further notice. And I'm gonna want anger management classes, proof of employment, 
within 90 days. There should be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Probation, is there anything else you need? Is there anything else you need from the court in order to be successful? Yeah. From here on out, we can go off the record from here on out. Everything you do in this world while you're still under this contract with the court, any decision you make, you need to ask yourself, is this something that could potentially result in me going to prison for 20 years? If the answer is yes, don't do it. If the answer is maybe, don't do it. And let me explain to you, I take no joy in sending people to prison, but if I feel they deserve to go to prison, I'm not gonna be worried about the fact that you have a newborn baby, that you're breastfeeding or whatever. If it comes up that you need to go to prison, you're going to prison and somebody else will be raising your child. Do you understand? I'm sure. You're gonna have to make better decisions. Good luck to you. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. May I have excuse? Yes. Who is here on? Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. 